Hello, okay, for today's math lesson, it's getting a little bit more challenging. What we're doing today is working with ratios um, in, a similar to, in a similar way to what we have done earlier, where you have to find the magic number and then either maybe you're gonna make the ratio double, kind of like the button question, where there was not 20, but then there was automatically 40 buttons. So it's kind of like that. Um, but this is a little bit more of like a practical application. Okay, so sometimes when you're cooking, you may want to double the recipe if you're serving many people, or you might want to cut it in half if only a few people are eating. And I wonder if any of you have done that before, even when you're kind of making something with your parents. So when this is the case, ratios can come in very handy because we have to keep the same amount of ingredients. We have to keep the same balance and the same um, ratio that we're putting into the food, whether it's doubled or halved. Okay, so this is your task. First of all, you have to decide if you are going to either increase your production, okay, or if you're going to decrease your production, okay? So if you're increasing it, it's gonna get bigger, obviously, so you're gonna like maybe double it. And then if you're decreasing, it's obviously gonna get smaller, okay? So if you're gonna do the increasing, you can choose to double or triple. If you're gonna decrease, you can just cut it in half, okay? If you wanna do something more complicated than that, like do it maybe like four times bigger, you could, or if you wanna cut it in something other than a half, you could as well, but I'm just suggesting that you stick with these because that's the most common thing that you would do if you're actually applying this skill. Okay, so use, so that's the first thing. So you have to decide if you're gonna increase or decrease. So you go here and you would type, I'm going to increase, ooh. Okay, maybe you gotta get rid of the line. <laughs> I might just take, rid of, take off this line. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, recipe is, let's say increased by double, okay? So something kind of like along those lines. You can say what you you can say what you want to do. Okay, then what you're gonna do here is you're going to put in each of the ingredients that you have. Okay, um, as kind of like as kind of best that you possibly can. Okay, so for example, I'm just gonna make this up. Say that I have, um, say that I'm making some cookies and I have flour as an ingredient. Maybe I have two and a half cups of flour, okay? So that's my amount in cups. Then what you need to do, and this is sort of the tricky part, but I've given you the cheat sheet over here to use, okay? Um, so you have to figure out, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna convert each ingredient into metric units, which is milliliters or grams. So this is what the UK would use, and this is more what Canada would use. Cups is more like an American standard. It's called imperial measurement. Okay, so if we're switching to milliliters, we're gonna think, well, how many milliliters is, or how many uh, milliliters is that? So a cup over here, a, f a cup over here, it says it is 240 milliliters, okay? So I don't have one cup, I have two cups. So two cups would be 200, I'm just gonna kind of write this in. 240 plus 240, but then I also have a half, right? And then I, so my half would be um, half of this. I can even go up here and find the half. It is 120, or I know that that's half, obviously. Okay, so then I need to figure out what this is. So 240 plus 240 is 480, and then 480 plus 120 is 600 milliliters, okay? So 600 ml. Um, you do not need to show your work. In fact, there isn't very much space here. If you wanna do what I just did there, you can, or you can just do this, okay? I'm just gonna be looking for the answer. So maybe you wanna work on another piece of paper that might be easier for you. Then this is the key thing. This is where like the main math comes in, okay? So this is where I'm going to actually be doing this, where I'm gonna be increasing by double, okay? So that means if this would have been, for example, one, my doubled amount, my ratio would be two. So what's my magic number to get from one to two? Well, obviously it is times by two. So I'm gonna take this amount and I'm going to multiply it by two. So I would get 1,200 milliliters. 
okay, that's going to be a huge batch of cookies. Oh my goodness. I don't even know if I'd have a bowl that could fit that much flour. Um, okay, so that's one example. Um, if you're fine, then you can stop watching the video and you can start working. If there's an egg, I would still like you to do that um, because it's really, it's trickier with eggs. So I've made this little legend up for you. If you're shooting for an RA, you would correctly calculate four in here. Okay, you don't have to do all of them. I know some people like Hashem have huge recipes. You do not have to do it all, okay? For an RA. Um, CA, okay, you would calculate all, but you know what? Just fill in this chart. Even if you have more than this amount, maybe it's 10, you don't have to do those last two, unless you really, really want to. Um, okay, then this is kind of the bonus. If you're gonna do the E, you would do both increasing and you would also do a decrease, okay? So you would have two things here. You would increase by double, and then maybe you also want to show something separate for decreasing, okay? So this would be like my increase level if you're gonna shoot for an E. And then if I'm gonna cut this down by half, that means I have to do the opposite. So it means that I have to divide. So 600 divided by two is 300 milliliters. Then maybe I wanna make a little legend that this is my decreasing amount, okay? Something kind of along those lines. Um, I'm going to do another example, so if you guys are good, you can just stop the video and get working as long as you have submitted part four. Um, I'm going to do another example if you want to keep watching. So say, for example, that I have, bake, um, say that I have salt, okay? And I have, maybe I have, this is going to be, i make this one tricky, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, okay? So now what I have to do is I have to figure out how many milliliters it is first. Here I go to my cheat sheet again. So three fourths of a teaspoon. Okay, so I know that that would be, um, it would be a half a teaspoon and then, sorry, a half a teaspoon. Okay, so up here. So half a teaspoon, you know what? That's kind of a really tricky one. Half a teaspoon would be 2.5 mils. So then if we're doing three quarters of a teaspoon, I'm just gonna say it's gonna be four milliliters. That's gonna be super close. Okay, and then if I'm doubling it, then of course my magic number would be times by two. So my new one would be, if I'm doubling my recipe, would be eight milliliters. If I'm gonna do half, then I would do divide by two. So two milliliters, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so yeah, if you are shooting for an E level, you would fill in the whole chart by doing both directions, okay? Um, good work. This is due tomorrow. Have fun.